Around 40 girls attended Girls' Night Out, held from Friday the 20th to Saturday the 21st, making it CHS's first sleepover event. Let me tell you a little bit about how this all came about, because I think this is really an important part of the story of Girls' Night Out. Daria started this process probably about two years ago. She came into my office. She's proposed Girls' Night Out um, as an overnight activity. And I said, no way. <laughs> Since the beginning of my sophomore year, I was kind of bothering Mr. Gleason about it. And then junior year, he gave the approval. And that's when we started all the planning. Yeah, it was, it was a long time coming. I wanted to have Girls' Night Out because I thought it would be a good way to bring the girls together. Keynote speaker Tina Morgan from 180 Turning Lives educated the girls about sexual assault and domestic violence and how to prevent it. And students listened to four women professionals speak about their careers, interests, and empowerment within those. Speakers included former FBI agent and vice president of corporate security at Bristol Myers Squibb, Amy Lyons, hunting enthusiast and Mr. Gleason's sister, Noreen Gleason, Olympic weightlifter, first woman to clean and jerk 300 pounds, and breast cancer survivor, Dr. Karen Marshall, and MSNBC reporter and producer, Dara Brown. When I got the email, I think it's a fantastic opportunity for people to come and spend time with girls, and I shouldn't call you girls, you're women, and tell you about life and share my experiences because you guys are the ones that are going to create the future. I think it's going to be really good. There's food, so that's always a good sign. Um, and everyone seems really happy. After a dinner dessert break, CHS alumni and spoken word poet Lynette Riemann performed poetry and held a short writer's workshop. We had a lot of underclassmen come tonight and it was just nice seeing them involved in something and that's what I wanted to do from the start, just to have a little bonding experience for the girls since the majority of the school is female. And it also raised empowerment, I could say. Um, girls would like, come up to me after the uh, presentations and they talked about how inspiring what they saw was. I did take a lot out of this. It, it was a learning experience and it was the first year doing something like this. I'm very happy with how it came out. All profits of the night were donated to 180 Turning Lives. Reporting for Inkblot News, I'm Olivia Malesko.